our new course that is how to design school management system now we are going to look at um that is uh, how to get a subdomain for free okay now what do you mean by subdomain a subdomain is like um let's say you already have a website on your main domain but you want to create another website for the same brand then you can create a subdomain for that okay but here if it is it's all about learning how to design a professional website maybe you have managed to buy a hosting okay which is let's say 500 uh, 50 ghana cities or 100 ghana cities but you don't have i mean you have you don't have budget for buying for domain or you're not ready to buy domain right now or you don't have even uh, it's not in your plans to buy domain okay it's all about learning you just want to i mean ha have a feel of it you want to discover you want to learn something just want to see if um web designing is for you okay so because of that uh, you don't want to buy a domain then i have an answer for you okay you can use subdomain for free okay you don't need to do anything you don't have to buy domain first before you can create a subdomain you can use a radar okay and then you get your subdomain for free okay so first of all i've already logged into my dashboard this is my dashboard i want to add a subdomain how can i do that if you're a user just go to add domain okay simple don't do anything okay i'm talking about a situation whereby you don't have a domain but whereby you have a domain and you want to create a subdomain i will show you how to do that okay but we'll come to that after we are done with the tutorial on how to get a domain how to connect your domain then i'll show you how to do that but this time we are talking about in case you don't have a domain at all which means that you can use a radar host so this one this tutorial is for those who don't have a domain but they want to learn it's okay good so now what do we do enter your brand name or your shop name maybe i want to create a website for my book for bookshop okay so let's i can say uh book bookshop bookshop dot so this is the name of the shop then i will add dot eradar.com so without eradar.com it will not work so just add your shop name dot eradar.com after that don't check any of these if so then leave them because this is just a subdomain okay so leave them come here and click save and let's wait for a while and let's see what will happen you see it's successful now let's go back here i'm going to show you that everything is working fine and now let's go to any this is a domain we have the domain here so just click here let's open it and let's see and you see it's working fine okay just that we don't have the ss certificate okay but don't worry i'll show you how to create an ss certificate or how to activate the ss certificate to do that come back here let's select click the pencil icon here okay after that go down we have enable as a certificate select that check the three of them okay after that go down here and then oh after you have selected the three of them or the four of them just go to save okay so let's give ourselves some minutes and we are good to go to it will save for us okay so let's wait okay so now it's successful now let's go back here and refresh this page you see that the site you see the site block you see it's working fine thank you for watching bye bye